Welcome to another exhilarating episode of On Enter Flash. This is Worth, and in this tutorial, you're going to be learning about the timeline, and there is no better way to do that than to get started. Let's look at the timeline and let's look at this, some of the things that we have here. Right here up top, we have the numbers which indicate what frame it is. So, right here, we can see that this one represents the first frame up here, the number of the first frame. There is no two it does count in multiples of five so every five you'll have an idea of where your frame is but sometimes when you're doing things by eye it's kinda hard to see and you want to be specific well down below we have this one here which indicates the current frame we also have the frames per second we also have the seconds the time lapse so these are important numbers to know so when you're doing things you can be really specific and know what's going on inside of your flash project. Let's look at the layer itself. This is the layer name. One of the ways to change the layer's name is just simply double click and you see that the text is selectable and you can change it to anything you want. I'm going to name it first and then when you're done with that you press enter and it is so renamed. I'm going to draw an item on the stage. Let's go to my rectangle tool and create a square and one of the things that you can do with layers is you can lock them so if I press this lock button now I have no way of editing it you can see that there's a pencil with a no smoking sign <laughs> below or block sign I can't do anything to that and if I do try to do something like that uh, a foreground window will come up and ask me if I want to unlock the layer now I'm gonna go with no and by clicking on it you unlock it they have this eye above here which hides or shows a layer so right now I this layer does have something inside of it but since I hit it I can't see that rec that square anymore so I'm going to put it on show and now you can see it let's learn how you add new layers right here you have your insert layer and once you click on it a new layer shows up and now we know how to rename it I'm gonna name it second enter and it's there once you start working with multiple layers it's important to start locking them so you don't end up putting some animation onto a different layer which can mess up your whole movie and just take out chunks of your life correcting things I showed you how to hide and lock individual layers I'm gonna show you how to hide and lock multiple layers if you click on the if you click on the lock symbol above all the layers you'll get them all locked and the same for show all you'll hide them all or show them all or unlock them all this is useful when you have more layers to lock than unlock if I have 50 layers and I wanna only have one unlock then I'll just lock them all and unlock the specific layer I want to unlock so for now I'm just gonna keep the first frame locked uh, one of the things that you want to know how to do is um, change the order of the layer. First is, in actuality, the second layer. So the way that you do that is just you hold and drag one on top of the other. The way you remove a layer is you select that layer and you go down to this trash can, which is delete layer. And now my second layer is gone. Let's start talking about frames frames inside of flash right now inside of this layer I have one single frame and to create animation you know that you need multiple frames so the way to do that is right click on the frame you want to create on a blank frame this frame has something in it and if I click right next to it which is actually the second frame I can do a number of things as an insert frame insert keyframe, insert blank keyframe, convert to keyframe, convert to blank keyframe and we'll try to get through all of those in the time provided. The first thing we're gonna do is insert frame and see what that does. When you when you do insert frame all it does is extend the previous frame so let me unlock this. This is all one item, one picture yes it's two frames but it's two frames of the identical picture which means I, 
if I edit this in the first frame or the second frame, the outcome will be the same. This is useful for items that you don't want to change, backgrounds. So if I have an animation and the animation is 8,000 frames, I don't want to recreate that background 8,000 times. I just want to extend that frame. You know how to right click and do that to insert frame. But F5 is the shortcut. And with F5, you can extend it to as far as you want. I'm going to create a new layer. Once you create a new layer, it duplicates the length of any previous layers. So right now, they both have 17 frames. And sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want to just start off with one frame and work your way up. The way you do that is you remove frames. So you can select a frame, right click, and remove frames. And I can keep on doing that until it gets down to one frame, but that's going to take too long. So what I'm going to do is click on the frame and leave out the frame that I, I do want and hold shift and click on the other frame so I get the so I select the entire frame that I want to cut out right click and remove frame so now I'm left with that one frame I'll just click on it so now I have this item in the background or the first layer which is now the background because of order I'm just gonna ex I'm just gonna uh, manipulate it go to the transform free transform tool and extend it this is gonna be pretty much like my background I'm gonna lock that layer and in my new layer I'm gonna create an oval and because my layer is locked I don't have to worry about me messing up the background I'm gonna change this oval to a different color Let's learn a new technique. We'll right click on the next frame and instead of insert frame, we'll go to insert keyframe. Insert keyframe copies the previous frame and makes it into a new frame. What's the use of that? Well, it's an entirely different frame. So if I look at my first frame, it's the oval and it's right there on the grass looking thing. And the second frame, it's still on the grass but since it's a new frame I can alter it and when I go back to the first frame I see that's there second frame is altered a little bit let me go to the third frame right click insert keyframe and I can alter it a little bit so now I have my animation kinda going you can see the movement is right there but right clicking to insert a keyframe takes too long so that shortcut is F6 and now I can move it now with F6 I can easily edit it and not worry about going back and forth to the timeline so now let's look at the animation so I have a simple animation right now going created let's learn another technique and that is insert blank keyframe instead of copying what the previous frame had it just inserts a blank frame so I have nothing in it there's nothing in there but I can place something in there this is good when you want to redraw the item or you want to do something totally new to preview your animation you print you simply just press enter and it'll show your animation so that's how you insert a blank frame and the way you do that the shortcut for that is F7 let's uh, convert an item to a keyframe what I'm doing is clicking on this blank keyframe and pressing F5 to extend it and I'm gonna put something inside of it this big oval so this big oval say I have this big oval and I wanna add some animation to it. I can click somewhere in it and convert it to a keyframe. And now I can change the position of the items. Now by me right clicking on it and converting to a keyframe, I have the ability to change those solid blocks of frame into different frames in order to achieve animation. So 
when I've changed it from here to there, now that big ball becomes a moving big ball. And the shortcut for that is F6. So keep that in mind, that's how you create your simple animation. You know a lot of things and we're going to get more into it in the next tutorials. We're going to go into tweening and a lot more stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash. This is Worth. Also visit me on my website on enterflash.blogspot.com to show your support for these videos. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment on my video.